Hey guys, in this short video, I want to talk to you about how ginkgo biloba can improve male fertility. Now, don't get me wrong. I understand that there are tons of factors that go into optimal reproductive health. Everything from the balance of the hormones in your body to the functioning of your sexual organs and glands, amongst other factors. However, one thing that we must consider, or a couple of things that are incredibly important to consider, is keeping inflammation and oxidative stress to a minimum. You see, your body wants to be healthy. It wants to be fertile. So oftentimes, health is more or less about keeping the things that would otherwise destroy your health at bay, at a minimum, much more than it is about trying to boost fertility health or your overall health. So with that basic thing in mind, I want to sort of focus in on a couple of important aspects in regard to male fertility health, which is oxidative stress and stress in general and inflammation being major causative agents for the decline in reproductive health and decreased overall fertility levels. You see, stress in regards to male reproductive health is known to damage the integrity of the sperm membrane. It can mutate or damage sperm DNA, resulting in decreased sperm count and of course, decreased sperm motility. So these are major causative factors, major reasons that the fertility levels of a person tend to decline in the first place. So again, going back to this basic idea that the cure is in the cause and that an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. If we look at a couple of aspects or mechanisms behind the herb ginkgo biloba, this herb actually proves to be an incredible fertility enhancing herb, particularly for men. You see, there's a couple of mechanisms behind ginkgo biloba and its ability to target these causative factors and inhibit them or mitigate them greatly, thus keeping the health of your sperm and overall fertility levels intact. So starting off, ginkgo biloba, as I talk about a lot when discussing the herb, is a powerful anti-stress herb. Going back to that statement I made a minute ago of how stress damages the sperm on a DNA or molecular level, ginkgo biloba has the ability to inhibit the production of the classic stress hormone cortisol, which is not just destructive to the organs and glands in your body, but in this case, it's damaging to the sperm. In addition to lowering the stress substances in the body, ginkgo biloba is also an anti-inflammatory herb. It specifically inhibits the overproduction of a pro-inflammatory cytokine known as tumor necrosis factor alpha, as well as the inflammatory mediator nitric oxide. And when these two things are being overly produced, when they are being produced in abundance, they also directly damage the sperm. They can, in women, disrupt healthy and normal pregnancy or delivery amongst many other important factors of reproductive health and fertility. So in these few ways, the ability to lower stress or inhibit oxidative stress, as well as inhibit the overproduction of inflammatory substances like tumor necrosis factor alpha and nitric oxide. Ginkgo biloba, in theory, is actually a really great herb for preventing any sort of reproductive damage or the decline in your fertility. Now, what else is great about this information is that it gives us clues as to what could be other helpful herbs and substances for improving the health of the sperm and overall fertility health. There are many other herbs and substances, some of them I actually talk about in these videos, that are known to lower cortisol, inhibit oxidative stress, as well as specifically inhibit the overproduction of these inflammatory substances that I was talking about. As an example, the nutrient CoQ10 or coenzyme 10, which is abundantly found in organ meats like liver, kidney, and heart, has this very similar effect and can improve the health of the sperm, sperm production and motility by inhibiting oxidative stress in pretty significant numbers. So in addition to supplementing ginkgo biloba, I'd highly recommend doing some of your own research and finding out what are some other things I can do to inhibit the oxidative stress and lower these inflammatory substances to protect and preserve my reproductive health. Now also keep in mind that Again, I understand that there are other factors involved in good reproductive health. Again, the balance of the hormones is huge. So generally speaking, you're gonna to wanna to do things that increase the production of your sex steroids or your androgens. For men, this is going to be primarily testosterone, an important one. For women, you have progesterone, but 
That's important for men as well, considering that progesterone is a precursor to testosterone, as well as the more primary anti-stress substance when your adrenal glands are healthy. You don't want to rely on cortisol. If progesterone levels are deficient, you'll have more cortisol being produced in the body, which can be damaging to reproductive health. So I'd highly recommend, in addition to this video, that you check out some of the other videos we have here on the channel to learn how to optimize your overall hormonal balance, particularly increasing the production of these androgenic sex steroid-like hormones. Anyways, that's all I wanted to share in this short video. I just came across this research and I thought it'd be worth mentioning because we talk a lot about male fertility health and men's health in general on this channel, as well as the importance of good hormonal health for good overall health. And we talk a lot about the very classic, well-known herbs for boosting the androgen hormones like the black ant, the pine pollen, nettle, amongst others. However, I think expanding the picture here of fertility health was very easy to do looking at this research. So now you have some additional information and tactics for improving your fertility health, and especially if you're a male and you're looking to improve the health and quality of the sperm. If you've enjoyed this video and found it helpful, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to the YouTube channel if you are new here and if you haven't already. And of course, if you're interested in learning more or supplementing with a quality ginkgo biloba extract, be sure to check out our blog and our online tonic herb shop in the description box below.